Assistance. In this video, we'll show you how to create an account for all your CSU applications. To begin, you will navigate to www.calstate.edu forward slash apply. Once you do, you'll see this screen and you'll scroll down to the bottom and you will use the drop down list to select the fall term that you are trying to apply for. Remember, Cal Poly only allows undergraduate applicants to apply for a fall term. Once you've chosen your term, you are then navigated to Cal State Apply. This is where you will go ahead and create a username and a password, and you will hit Create an Account. Please note that all the starred fields are required in order to successfully submit your application. Please note that under the Name section, you must enter your legal first and last name. Under the Contact Information, it is recommended that all applicants use an email address that you frequently check to avoid missing important application updates. All the schools you apply will use this email in the application for portal setup and notifications of status. We do not recommend using an email address tied to a high school or a college server or a family network as these may not receive messages due to the firewalls and other protections. You'll want to enter a phone number, under the username and password, it's important that you keep this login information secure. Also, please note usernames and passwords are case sensitive. Please take note of the following requirements for each of the passwords. Once you've created a username and a password that you're happy with, you'll agree to the terms, answer if you're part of a union data protection, and click create my account. At this point, your account has now been created. You will now start your extended profile you will need to indicate a degree goal. Please note that for all undergraduate applicants, you will want to choose first bachelor's degree. Please note that Cal Poly does not have a second bachelor degree option. So if you choose that and you're applying to multiple schools, likely Cal Poly will not show up in your program list because we do not offer second bachelor's. You will also want to indicate your current educational status. Again, if you're a freshman applicant, even if you have some college credits, you will go ahead and put graduating from high school with or without college coursework. If you are a transfer student of any kind, you will then be prompted to indicate whether or not you are a returning student. What does a returning student mean for this purpose? Let me quickly explain. A returning student for this question is someone who's already applied, accepted, and attended this specific school in this specific program. If this applies to you, you actually want to do a different process found on our website for returning former students. Otherwise, you'll simply answer no and move forward with your application. But true returning former students need to apply through our local process for our campus. You will indicate your U.S. military status and dependency and whether or not you're an international applicant. So once you've filled out that entire extended profile, you'll go ahead and hit save changes and you're ready to move on. Please do not hesitate to contact admissions office with questions or concerns and we wish you the best of luck.